What's up, Mentorship Freaks? It's a daily dose of the Mentorship Motivator. And this says no excuses here or read that shit backwards. I don't know what it says. On whatever. Some other shit. Anyway, today we are talking about don't take shit personally. Now, before I even we even get into this about not taking shit personally, I want to explain these videos, these videos that these mentorship motivator videos. Now, these are for you, obviously for you as the leader, for the, as the entrepreneur, as the business owner, these are for you. But this stuff isn't just for you. Teach it to your team. Teach it to your leadership team. Teach it to your staff. Teach this stuff. You, this is stuff. This could be posts that you just reword in your own words and send this message to your team. This could be in your email, your team emails, your li a live video to your team. It could be team meeting discussions. A lot of this stuff is going to apply to a lot of your team. So use this stuff. Use this on your social media. You reuse this stuff. Reword it yourself. Reuse it. That's what this is for to help you. It's not just for you. This is stuff is for your team also. So when it comes to taking stuff personally, the first thing you need to do since we're talking about team, this is why this one is, I mentioned that before this one because this one is perfect because your team needs to know this stuff. This, that you need to realize, they need to realize, you need to realize you're on a team. And so I'm going to speak to you as a team member, but think about it from the perspective of, say, one of your team members, one of your employees, right? Realize that you're on a team, that no one is out to freaking get you. Like we're, we're all adults. We're humans. We're professionals. We are on a mission. We're all on the same mission together. So don't get upset every time someone blinks their eyes or does something you don't like or every little tiny thing that happens you think is going against you. Don't get and and don't get upset at this message. Like if this if this message was sent to my team, if you get upset at this message, thinking that this message is directly towards you and you're taking this message personally, you need to rewatch the message twice because you're taking a message personally about not taking shit personally. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. So that's the exact type of negative self thoughts and biases that we're talking about. Realize that nothing from your people on your team, anyone on this team is set out to harm you. And if you think of that, and if you think that, that someone on the team is out to harm you or out to get you, guess what? They shouldn't be on the team or you need to find another team. Simple as that. Because there's no place or time or energy or mental space for that. We're, we're at war. We are in a war. And you need to realize what side you're on. You need to understand the enemy is over there. The enemy is not over here on our side. The enemy is over there. We are at war. This is the good space. This is your safe space. This is your team. The enemy's there. We are all going in the same mission to crush the fucking enemy. So there's no, there's no time for wasted time, wasted energy, wasted ammo, shooting ammo at each other on friendly fire when the enemy's over there. We need to save the ammo over there. Because anytime there's friendly fire going on, anytime that happens, the enemy is one step closer to overrunning you. That's what that's what's happening. They're one step closer to catching up to you, to taking over the throne, to, to, defeat, to, to the, defeating the champ every time there's any any kind of enemy fire going on. So even if you hear something, you know, I hate the term, uh, it made me feel a, a certain kind of way or some shit. I hate the fucking term. But, but even if you hear something that was in a certain way or some kind of way or some other nonsense like that, it's what you hear. It's a story you're telling yourself in your head. That's not actually probably what's go even going on. Especially with written communication, right? You're, yes, written communication is faster. It's easier. It's a lot of times more effective. But it's also easier to misinterpret. It's also easy to hear it wrong. Even if, cause you, you're, When you're reading a message, guess what? You're reading it in the tone, in the mood that you're in. Not the mood of the person that sent it to you. So the reader, is you're reading it, you're pissed off about whatever else because you have these misconceptions in your head. You're reading that text message in a totally different tone of voice when it's really coming to you in like a friendly, helpful tone of voice. You're reading it as in like, oh, bitching, bitching, bitch, they're bitching at me, they're bitching at me, whatever. Even speaking, if, if someone's tone is not to your liking or maybe they, they're, things are busy, they're rushing and they're rushing they have to say something real quick and you get offended by it or take it personally because someone just said, oh, I need you to go do this, this, and this right now. So what? Get over it. Move on. Like that's that's business. That's the world we live in. It's a fast, sometimes fast-paced world. And there's no time to sit and bow and send a, a fucking smoke signal message to you to request your your adherence to this piece of paper that needs to get fucking copied or whatever. Sometimes shit just needs to get done and there's nothing personal about it. It's just that we need to be efficient, effective, productive, make shit happen because we are at war. So control your biases that are hardwired in your brain, either from the past or whatever you're telling yourself about a certain situation. Control the lenses that are 
filtering your eyes. Control the filters that are that are on your ears about the way you're hearing stuff. You're hearing it the way you want to hear it. You're seeing it the way you want to see it, the way you're hardwired. So just look, just see and freaking listen to, to what actually is. Like what actually is going on in the present moment? Like what actually is the outcome we need right now? Not what you think or, oh, what it seems. Oh, you've seen this, you've seen that. Fuck all that. There's no time for that. Or even what you want it to be. You, you're trying to tell yourself the way it is. Consider the fact, if you get, if you often get upset at, at other people's words, consider the fact, could it possibly not be their words, not even be their tone, could it possibly be that it is you? That it's you that has some kind of bias in your head. So listen, you can't go and criticize or correct someone else, especially as a leader. You cannot go and criticize and correct someone else if you're unable to accept criticism and or correction yourself. Like every time you get corrected on something, you have a breakdown. You become abrasive every single time anything is mentioned to you that you need to get better on. And you, oh my God, I suck. I can't do anything right. I'm just, I'm just so bad at this. Why are you only telling me bad things? All this other stuff. Anything you don't like or being corrected or just something you don't agree with, you become abrasive. Abrasiveness is not a good trait as a team member and it's definitely not a good trait as a freaking leader. That's for sure. So when you hear something or see something, I want you to ask these few questions, a few questions to yourself. When you hear something or you see something, what's what's the interpretation that you immediately you naturally immediately jump on? Like what how do you nor, naturally interpret things in general and you know how you are, so don't bullshit yourself. Then so what's your def, what what is your default interpretation of someone else, especially your team members? What's your default interpretation of their intentions when they're asking you something tell or even just telling you something? No matter how it's said to you, what is your default interpretation? Then what what about the situation haven't you considered? And why is it that way? Why is it this way that that's how you interpret stuff? Why is it that you don't consider other factors? Now, ask yourself this. Are you part of creating the problem or part of creating the solution? And then ask yourself, could you possibly be wrong? Could you possibly be receiving this information wrong? Could you be wrong? So realize you might be wasting time and energy and fucking mental space, both yours and other people and other people around you that are affected by this. Realize that there will never be any room for growth, any room for evolving or even success or freaking victory in this battle, in this war, if that's how you automatically take stuff in. So if you're old, stat, if, you're, if, you're, if you're kind of just stuck in place in your old, stagnant, preconceived, biased, automatic misconceptions of the way things come in towards you. That's actually a term we start using. P-BAM. Stop being having P-BAM. Preconceived, biased, automatic misconceptions. Because it happens all the time. I see it going on sometimes with our team and you have to put, put someone in their place and let them know, don't take this shit personal. You have these preconceived, biased, automatic misconceptions of everything coming your way. When it's not personal, it's just we have an outcome we need to get and don't get all fucking hurt about it. So use this information. This is going to help you tighten up your team. Share this message with your team. Share this information with your team. Imagine a world. Imagine a world where everyone on your team, no matter no matter what, like you knew you had this good solid team. So no matter how a message came in, you always received it as positive, as as goal oriented, as solution oriented and never took shit personal ever. And everyone had that agreement that, listen, sometimes we're going to be having to rush and just say this and this and this. Let's make the agreement that nothing is ever personal because we're on a team. We're like a family. Nothing's ever going to be personal. Imagine a world like that where that's just like a weight off your shoulders. That's like a freedom right there. Imagine that. Get your team to that freaking level of cohesiveness and get over their preconceived bias, automatic misconceptions that are, are holding them back and causing abrasiveness on the team. This is the Mentorship Motivator. I will talk to you soon. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.